Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So I know that this uh, collection technically came out probably a couple weeks ago, but honestly, I have just been in sort of a funk. I've been feeling a little off. I've been like not an illness kind of way, just like a, I don't want to sit down and film sort of way. I've been busy. I've been working. I've been tired. So tonight is the night that I'm finally sitting down to film the phase two launch of the Mac holiday collection. First of all, I would like to say thank you very much to everybody who made my first phase, phase one of this holiday collection, a complete success. I always feel, you know, so much better putting a video up that I know is reaching a ton of people. And I know that that one has a couple thousand views on it, which is really, really nice to see because I know that some of my view, my, my view videos, some of my videos only reach like 40 people, which is still awesome, but it's just nice to have like a bigger, um, viewing group, I suppose every once in a while. Also, if you are interested in the, uh, makeup look that I have today, bad as it may be, keep an eye out. I just did another full face of one brand today or almost full face of one brand. This was the outcome. That video will be coming up on my channel very, very soon. So I'm pretty sure phase two of the Mac Holiday Frosted Fireworks collection launched on October 29th and it is now Friday, November the 13th. This is probably like the most superstitious worst day that I could pick to film this. Maybe that's why my makeup turned out the way that it did. Um, but whatever, we're here now, let's talk about it anyway. So I'm gonna, of course, go over all of the things that you could have gotten in this collection, even though I didn't get all of the pieces from the phase two launch, mainly because during the phase two launch, it's sort of an opportunity for people to get their hands on a lot of permanent items. So this is a lot of sets uh, that include mascaras, eyeshadows that already pre-exist, lipsticks that already pre-exist, um, Fix Plus, Prep and Prime, paint pots, all of that kind of stuff. This is sort of the opportunity to get your hands on that. It's always really, really affordable and a really good time to stock up on some of your essentials. Or if you have a friend that maybe is just getting started with makeup and you don't know what to give them because you don't know what they have, it's a really good opportunity because trust me, any girl or guy out there that is into doing makeup can use Fix Plus. It is phenomenal, it's amazing, and you can get it as part of this release. So really quickly, let's start talking about some of the things that I didn't get. The first thing that I didn't get was the Mac Advent Calendar. This was only a 12-day Advent Calendar this year. I feel like they put one out last year. I didn't get it, and I will tell you for why I did not get it, because I think all of, if not very, very close to all of the products that were launched in the advent calendar are ones that I have. Now, I was originally going to tell you guys what you can get uh, in the calendar, but maybe somebody got it as a gift or something like that and they don't actually know what's in it and I don't wanna spoil it for them. If you are interested in knowing, it is all listed out. You just go to the item on the Mac website, hit full description, and it will list out all of the products that you get throughout those 12 days. So maybe you can decide if you're going to buy it as a gift for yourself you can decide if it is worth it or not to you. For me, it wasn't just because I have a lot of the products already in it, if not all, but that might not be the case for you. The advent calendar is in $99, but it claims to have a $182 value. All right, the next packaged item that I did not get, and again, this is kind of a different item for MAC. I've never seen them launch something like this before. It is called the Silk Mittens Hand Cream Trio. So you get three miniature hand creams for $26. One is rose, one is lavender, and one is a coconut scent. I didn't even know MAC made hand creams. I don't know if that is something completely new just for the holiday season, but let's face it, since the pandemic, we've all been using hand sanitizer and washing our hands like crazy and if you guys are anything like me you really need hand cream so uh, this might be the best time for you to get something like this and $26 for three hand creams is not bad in my opinion I don't know what the quality is like I'll just leave it at that so the next thing that you could have gotten is called a run the show kit and online it is in the color mocha now there might be a separate one that you can get in the stores I'm not 100% sure because I have noticed as I've been going through the website that several of the items that are listed online I may have bought the other version in the store but it is slightly different in terms of the colors that you get the shades that you get this one, however, is a $39 item. It has a strobe cream in it. It looks like a pink light strobe cream, which is the original MAC strobe cream. Also a lip prep and prime pencil 
not pencil, excuse me, it's like a chapstick kind of thing. It basically prevents your uh, lipstick and your lip liner from feathering outside of your lines. It also moisturizes really, really nice for that. And it looks like the lipstick is a satin shade in the shade Mocha. I feel like I've heard of that really recently. I actually feel like it was launched. I gotta get it. And I was completely correct. I actually was gonna say, I actually feel like it was launched in the uh, mini fireworks lipstick kit and it definitely was. So Mocha is a satin lipstick. So if you already have the mini lipstick kit, maybe it's not something that you need. Or if you didn't get your hands on this and maybe it was because that was the only color you didn't have, then here's an option. It is a full size lipstick, a small version of a strobe cream and obviously a full lip prep and prime. The next thing is called the Sparkler Starter Kit. This is, oh, so I didn't tell you, but the Run the Show Kit, I know I told you it retails for $39. It says it has a $65 value in it. And this next one has a $43 value, but retails for only $26. So it's a two piece kit. You are getting a lip balm, a Tender Talk lip balm, and also a strobe cream. Once again, it looks like the pink light strobe cream. Sorry, again, it looks like a pink light strobe cream and I'm not 100% sure what the shade name is of the Tender Talk lip balm, but it's a very, very light pink shade. So definitely just really good for a lip balm that you could just throw on and kind of go. And I'm pretty sure that those are the ones that sort of adjust to your uh, lip color. They kind of are a little bit different for everybody. Don't quote me on that, I'm just pretty sure. The next part of the collection that I did not get Okay, it's not online. I can't find it on the MAC Cosmetics website, but I do know that this exists. They did put out a five piece set of the Powder Kiss lipsticks. Now these are not new colors. They are a lot of colors that already exist in the regular lineup. But if you're interested in trying out some of the Powder Kiss formulas, there is that option. If I can find a picture, I will put one here. If not, you're just gonna have to do your own research and trust me on that. Everything else that's on the website, I think I either got one of or you know, some version of it is sitting here. So the first thing is the Fire Lit Kit. This is a bag, a brush, and a highlighter. The highlighters included are extra dimension highlighters. So it is an $87 value kit that you can purchase for the price of $59. Now the one online is different than the one that I picked up in the stores. The one online says it is champagne and it has a silver bag. The brush in it, I believe, is the same as the brush that comes in the other one, which is a a 143 SES brush. So I'm pretty sure that stands for special edition synthetic. So it's just a powder brush. I'm pretty sure this is a brush they put out in years before. The color of the extra dimension um, highlighter in it is double gleam, which I happen to have already. This is a regular permanent item. It is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful champagne color. If you guys are interested in seeing it, here it is right now. So it's a really good thing I actually didn't pick this product up, even though I thought I might have. Also, I'm so beat up and bruised right now just from work. Um, don't worry too much about it, but if you see the giant bruise on my arm, that's all it's from. But this is Double Gleam right here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful champagne-y kind of a color. I love these because there's very little, like there's no sparkle in it. Um, it's still very glowy, very highlighty, but there's no actual glitter in it and very, very little fallout. The kit that I picked up is the gold set and the highlighter that comes in this, as far as I'm aware, is limited edition. I don't have it. I haven't heard of it before. So I can only assume that. So this is the one that I got. As I said, it is a three piece set. First thing you get is this really, really pretty bag. It has a little like firework, plasticky kind of tassel to it. Super, super cute. This is a really nice size bag. Um, you know, a lot of the other ones are super tiny or whatever. This is more of your standard size makeup bag. As I said before, you do get a 143 SES brush. So it is just a fat little face brush like this. And here is the highlighter color. So this is in Soul Glow. It is a golden shade. It is a little more on the champagne -y gold side, uh, not super, super dark gold, but this is what it looks like. If I can just get it to focus. 
and this is what it looks like right here. So it's kind of like a bronzy, copperish kind of gold. It is a little bit deep for maybe me, but I think that I can make it work, especially uh, in the summertime. I think it would be really, really pretty. And I love extra dimension skin finishes. They are some of my favorite. Really the extra dimension of any kind of formula, they're really, really good. So the next thing that got launched were two Fire Work It Lip Kits. These have a $74 value and they retail for $49. I did pick up both of them. Now having said that, some of the colors in here I believe are not limited edition. I think that the lip pencils are permanent edition ones. I'm pretty sure I have some of them. If I do, I will probably be swatching the ones that I already have as opposed to wasting a brand new one that I could maybe include in a giveaway for you guys. And to be completely honest, I'm pretty sure they put out the same shades last year. At least I think so. Sorry about that. I just went to check if some of the pencil colors were the same. When I said they put out the same shades, I just meant that the lip pencils were in the same shades. And I was right about one and I'll get to that when I actually look at that. So like every other kit that they have pretty much put out this year, they always seem to do two. So they did one sort of pink one, which they call the blush kit, and then a more reddish berry one, which they call the berry kit. So just like before, you get a nice little bag. It kind of has a rounded end here, more of a, uh, you know, right angled edge here. These are stuffed with paper and it looks like they have that same little like plasticky firework kind of a charm to them. This is my one issue with getting all of these kits. I get so many makeup bags and it is so unnecessary. So I'm definitely gonna have to use them to like give away presents and stuff rather than maybe wrapping them and wasting paper, maybe using these bags as like small gift bags. So the blush kit comes with, both kits come with a full size lip gloss. They come with a full size lip pencil and a full size lip kit. This was the lip pencil that was launched in last year's collection as well. This is Dervish. Dervish is a permanent color in the MAC range. I already have it right here. I'm just gonna toss this one kind of that away so that I know not to use it. I already have Dervish, so I will be able to swatch one that I already have. It's just a really, really beautiful, beautiful, light sort of a pink color, not too, too light, like a baby pink or a Barbie pink, but that perfect like light pink, I guess. The lip gloss is in Avalanche of Kisses. I do believe that this is limited edition to this line. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see in the packaging itself, but it's got some gold reflex to it. You can really kind of catch it in the light. Absolutely gorgeous color, very, very wearable shade, right? there. And last but not least, the lipstick color. Once again, I believe this is limited edition. It is in Your My Flame. It is, again, a really, really soft kind of neutral. It looks almost like watermelon or grapefruit pink. And it is a matte lipstick. So these are the three colors that you get in the Firework It Lip Kit blush version. Moving on to the berry version, you get the same four pieces in the kit. So you get a bag. This time the bag is in like an icy sort of a pink, but the same shape, same everything. The lip pencil in this one is in the color Beat. Again, this is one of their regular edition pencils. So I already happen to have it. The one that came out in last year's collection was in the shade Cherry, so more of a red tone. Beat is a very kind of more berry toned red. It is still in what I would call the red family, but very, very berry toned. You get a lip glass in Total Bombshell. Again, this is new this year. I have not heard of this shade before. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous berry color. I love that. I don't wear a ton of berry colors, but I'm feeling very, very into the season this year. I think because the season is going to be so different, Christmas is going to be different this year than we've ever seen it before. So I think I'm definitely going to be getting into some of these more berry fall tones uh, as opposed to my normal traditional Christmas reds. And this is the lipstick. The lipstick shade is Brick the Ice and it's an amplified cream lipstick. So those are the two Firework It lip kits this year. Next up is something that I actually didn't see on the website, which made me remember that there's also another product that I did not see on the website. So this is the Pro Longwear Paint Pot and In Extreme Dimension Mascara Kit. So this was a $35 kit, $57 value, and it comes with 
a mascara. This is the In Extreme Dimension mascara. These are the same ones they launched in last year's collection. They're really, really nice, volumizing. I shouldn't be talking over myself, crinkling paper. They're really, really nice volumizing mascaras. It's actually the mascara I have on my eyes today. And this particular kit also came with a painterly paint pot. I am getting close to running out of mine. So this seemed like the perfect opportunity to replenish it. This is gonna go in a backup drawer for me, as is this mascara, just so that I make sure I don't open it. But what I do happen to have right next to me is one that I got earlier um, that I have been using, just so that you guys can kind of see what the wand is all about. It's a very straight up and down wall wall wand with lots of little teeny tiny teeth make it ideal for separating your lashes lengthening them and giving you a ton of volume another thing that i forgot to mention to you guys that isn't included uh in the kits this year or whatever or it's not online it's a kit is fix plus just the original fix plus and a lip prep and prime um like lip thing the same thing i talked about earlier i gotta get my words together is anybody sick of me lately I feel like I'm getting sick of myself talking. Anyways, that is another thing that was available at my local Mac that was not listed online. Something else that isn't listed online and I don't even think is available for purchase. As I was leaving picking up my phase two launch, my friend at Mac said, I always say I'll give you something and she gave me this little bag. It is kind of a clear plasticky waterproof kind of material. It feels like the same stuff like a neoprene raincoat would be made out of. And inside are too many lipsticks. These happen to be in the shades Mare and Chili, which I have both in full sizes, but a really, really, really nice small offer. I'm pretty sure it was like a gift with purchase because that day that I picked it up was like a special day at the bay or at mac at the bay so i'm pretty sure that's what this was nevertheless i thought i'd show you guys anyway the next thing that we're going to talk about are the wow factor eye kits these are 112 dollars value there are two that came out one was in copper and one was in bronze. I did not get the bronze one this year. And the reason I didn't is because one of the colors in it is one that I had already. And it's also the one that launched in last year's eye kit. This is Sweet Heat. It's an extra dimension shadow. It is my favorite extra dimension shadow. It's this beautiful, beautiful, like champagne-y color. The other one that came out in this particular kit was Havana. I thought I had it. I ended up not having it. But that's okay, it is like a deep brown kind of color. But I did pick up the copper one. So this is what the big box looks like here. It comes with a bag as everything else does, two extra dimension shadows. You also get a graph black technical liner. This is a really, really good standard black eyeliner. It's one of those ones that you just wind up. Uh, really, really nice, really, really fluid, easy to work with, and another mascara that will go in my backup drawer alongside that liner. I'm not gonna swatch the black liner for you because it is just a black eyeliner. You can get them everywhere and you can get them at MAC on the regular. This is the bag that these came with. Again, a different shape, but a very, very similar kind of a pattern. Um, this one does not have oh no this one also has that weird plasticky thing hanging off of it that's supposed to look like a firework and these are the two colors that came out this year one of them i have actually neither of them i believe are permanent i've never heard of either shade before which is why i got this kit so the first one is caught you glistening it's kind of a really really nice soft white champagne almost pinkish kind of a color Hoping that that picks up there. I'm gonna put it, this is Sweet Heat here. I know this is a weird place to swatch, but I kind of just wanna see what they look like in comparison to each other. So one is definitely more bronzy. The other one is definitely more champagne-y, more soft. I really, really like that color. And the other one that it came out with is Frost Without You. It's kind of like that coppery red, which is why this is called the Copper Bag. This is what it looks like here. I hope my swatching is okay for you guys. I'm very all over the place tonight. But there it is right there. So like I said, these are $112 value that you can pick up for $55. All right, the last item I actually had to go away and wipe off my arm and get some makeup wipes because we are going to be doing a lot of swatching. The last item that I picked up, I didn't even know was launching in this collection, but I saw it and I was just drawn to it, had to have it. And that is the Grand Spectacle Eyeshadow Times 25 Palette. 
I don't remember the last time that MAC launched a really big palette for a holiday collection. So I was really, really excited to see this. The colors look like they would be a lot of fun, lots of shimmers. There are a lot of colors in here that are permanent colors. For example, carbon, navel, I believe is an original, is a normal color. Uh, and there's at least one other one that I've seen. I like to watch. So there's a couple in here that are in the permanent line, but there's also a ton that I believe were launched specifically for this palette. This palette was $99, claims to have a $292 value. Let's take a look and see it. The last time that MAC released a giant palette like this, I hated the placement. I kind of like this one. It has a lot of different sizes. I find that some of the more staple colors are in bigger pans, which you would expect. It does have a circular mirror on it, and the outside is that same kind of velvety sort of thing as the last eyeshadow palette. So you get a ton of colors in here, and like I said, the black, this nice like taupe crease color, and this bright white are all in bigger pans, as well as the gray, the gold. Some of the fun glittery colors are in a bit smaller pans, but that makes sense because you probably won't use as much of them. So let's swatch this palette out on our arm and see how we like it. I'll go as fast as I can. Um, and hopefully, I'm gonna get my phone out because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to tell what colors they are because they're all just sort of listed on the back. It doesn't specifically say like underneath the pans what color they are, whereas online, it has little swatches with all of the names on them. So that's very, very helpful. So basically I'm going to start um, with these two. Let's start inside. We're gonna start in the inner circle and kind of work out into that outer ring. Uh, it's like half ring, so you get the big one, then a little ring, a bit bigger, a bit bigger, and then those two outliers there. So we're gonna start in the center and work our way out. And hopefully I can keep track of all the colors. So the first color we are going to do is Special Snowflake. This is what it looks like right here. It is a white. Looks like it has a little bit of a shine to it, a bit of shimmer. Really pretty, really nice kind of frosty color as you would expect out of a palette like this. Next color I'm going into is Pleasing to the Eye. This is, I believe, it's just this, it's in a little bitty pan, but it's a really, really soft kind of beige, peachy sort of color, almost the same color as my finger is, believe it or not. That's that right there. I'm sorry that I'm going over a bruise, but this is the best place that I have for swatching. Uh, so you'll just have to go off of this little bit here. The next color I believe is called S'more Please, like s'mores the food. That's this here. It is like a shimmery brownish sort of a tone. It definitely has like that chocolatey kind of a feel to it. Absolutely gorgeous color, really, really liking that one. Next, we have a really, really soft, kind of lilac-y, pinkish sort of tone. This is in Pretty Jazz. Also reminds me a little bit of Floof, which is in the regular line. It's kind of like a soft, whitish, pink, definitely some shimmer in there. Not too dissimilar, I would say, from that white color up above, but a little bit more hint of pink to it. Next, we have kind of like this blue gray sort of a tone. This is in Numb and Nummer. Super cute, these names. It's kind of like a silvery gray blue kind of a color. I'll get nice and close in a minute so you guys can see. I don't think my camera Oh, there it goes. It will zoom more, so never mind. Also, please forgive me. This is some of the staining from the lip colors I had on earlier. And this last color in this first circle is Swing Out. This is more of a true, like, lilac, lavender, sort of a purple, really, really soft color. Really soft formula on this one. I noticed it was very, very soft in the pan as well. Next on to the next ring out. So I'll just show you guys here. So what we just swatched is this middle one and these colors. Next, we're gonna start up here and go into this ring here. So the first one is in Creative Copper. It's like a beautiful, beautiful color. Not actually too dissimilar from, from that extra dimension shadow that I swatched just previously in the other kit. Really, really pretty, super glittery, super pigmented color. Next color up after that is kind of a burgundy red. It's in the color I'm Into It. This is a matte shadow. It feels very powdery in the palette. It is just a dark, dark burgundy red. 
very, very good for Christmassy, very good for building up a lot of darkness on the lid. I know I'm halfway off. I'm trying to keep more of my arm in frame so you guys can see it. Um, I know this video is kind of shoddy, I apologize, but like I said, I've just been in kind of a mood lately where it was like, I knew I needed to sit down and film this tonight because I have so much stuff I want to show you guys. I'm just like tired and spent and I might need to take a little break, but um, I don't know, hopefully not, we'll have to see. All right, upon further inspection, I think I lied to you, this really pretty like reddish kind of color is actually frozen assets. In the picture, it's kind of covered along the side by the menu bar. Um, and I did not scroll over to look at it. That is my bad. So this next color is going to be in Last Dance. The color after that will be Creative Copper. This is where I was getting a little confused because some of the colors look very, very similar to each other. So this is Last Dance. It's an absolutely gorgeous kind of golden champagne color. Another really, really soft formula. Super pretty. I like that a lot. This is that Creative Copper. It's kind of an interesting thing. It's almost like a sheer sort of thing with a bit of like a multi-chrome kind of thing going on. Kind of pinky, kind of orangey, a little bit red there. Really interesting color, really unique color. Now that I'm more or less back on track, we can get into the next color, maybe. I really wish that they had laid this out better and like shown better uh, on line which color was which because this is getting very confusing very very quickly a lot of the colors in the swatches could realistically be any of the colors in the palette it's getting really hard to tell so i don't want to lie to you guys and tell you guys a color is a color that it's not so i'll keep trying to do this and we'll just see how it goes so the next color i believe is nutcracker it's a really really pretty shimmery kind of like bubble gummy pink sort of tone. I'm also running out of room on my arm, but it's really, really pretty. Again, I'll get closer in a minute or two when I have figured this all out. Next color is I like to watch. This one I am sure of because I actually have this in a full size uh, individual pan shadow. Really, really nice color, kind of a gold shift to brown, shift to orange. It's really unique color. That's why I love I believe those are Dazzle shadows. I just love those shadows. I wonder if they did the uh, newer version, the Dazzle Shadow Extreme. I will take a look in a second. The next color is Naval. It's just a really pretty navy blue. I've always kind of been um, disappointed in this color. To be completely honest, the regular one does the same thing where when you swatch it, it almost turns a little bit more purple. It's not super, super pigmented, but a lot of their mattes are like that. They take a lot of building. They do take a brush to apply just something to keep in mind and the last color in this particular row is in polar opposite it's kind of like this grapey pink per not per not pink it's a grapey purple that has some pink reflect in it really really pretty again though it can kind of depending on the light and the pearls you look at can kind of turn to a little bit of a reddish tone or anything like that so that is the first few rows done i'm going to just get really close really quickly just so you guys can see some of the reflex there we're going to do the rest of them i guess on the other side of my arm because i'm running out of space real real quick so the next color i'm going to speed this along a little bit is dance in the dark i believe this is another permanent color it is a deep deep chocolate brown really really pretty nice staple color to have very very pigmented and especially since i just said a lot of their mattes aren't super pigmented this is one that um defeats that preconceived notion next color this is number 12 on the website is Ready Set Fuego. It is kind of like a bright shimmery red tone. Uh, I guess you can't really have a Christmas palette without having a red in it. Although they definitely have in years past, but I like that this year they haven't stuck to one particular color theme or color story. They've kind of just gone all over the place. I really, really like that, especially because like I said before, we're all going to probably be by ourselves or like at home this year. There won't be tons of Christmas parties and things like that. So this is a really good opportunity to experiment with some more crazy looks and I should be the one doing it the most because you guys always say that I play it safe and that I kind of do the same look over and over again. So maybe we're going to have to do something fun and crazy with this palette. Okay, this next color I believe is Oh So Guilty. It's kind of like a dirty gold 
bronzy kind of a color. Really, really pretty though. Almost has a copper vibe to it. Next up we have Wedge. This again is a regular edition color. It is matte. It is a really, really good crease color. Love that. Then we have a kind of pinkish color. This is in, my guess is going to call this cherry topped. Seems weird, that feels like it should be the name of a red shadow, but we're just gonna go with it. That one did have a little bit of flaking along with it. It's kind of a drier formula, kind of flaked on itself a tiny, tiny bit. Next color here is in where there's smoke. It's kind of like a charcoal gray sort of a color. They actually do have a charcoal gray in their regular line. I wish I could remember the name of it right now. If I remember it, I'll flash it on the screen here. But if you're interested in a really good charcoal, I think the color I'm thinking of might be print. Don't hold me to that. I'll flash it down on the screen below. Three more colors in this row. So the next one is in shade Flash Freeze. It's kind of like a shimmery navy sort of a tone. Kind of makes up for that navel color we had before. Really, really pretty. Then we've got a super bright blue, which is in Flurry Up. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous blue. I'm loving the colors that they did here. It's a really fun color story. You can go so many different directions. Last color in this row is Carbon. That is that black shade. This shade is also in the smaller palette. Just so that you know, so that you... <laughs> You can see that th I think those are the only colors that are the same across both palettes, but just so you know. Last two colors here, we're going to just swatch them both at once. They are both very fun, very metallic. The gold is in gold front and the silver is in special snowflake. These are them here. They're very, very flaky, very, very metallic, and we're going to put them here. Gold and silver. So these are the 25 colors that you would get if you picked up this palette. It is an expensive palette, $99 is not cheap by any means. Particularly I find because whenever I talk about MAC, I sort of am very, very, um, like one of the first ones to say that I think that MAC is very affordable. $99 is not the most affordable thing. However, it is 25 eyeshadows. This is a limited edition piece. And I would say most of the colors perform pretty well. There's a few duds here and there, but overall you're getting a really nice variety of things and you don't really know how they play out until we play with them on the eyes, which I will do in a video coming up if you guys want to see that. So that is everything that came out this year in Max Holiday Collection. I'm sorry that this video was all over the place. I'm sorry if it's really, really long and I don't make any sense and the swatching was terrible. I apologize. I'm just not myself lately. I will try and get back to being better. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what pieces you got out of the collection or maybe if I missed anything or if you had, you know, if you've gotten this palette and you had better luck with swatching or whatever. I love hearing from you guys. If you're not already and you want to be, then subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.